mother of God. We all know why we're here. Belfast has been hidden away from us Legends players since February 2020. Sure, it was available in crates, with the similar drop probability of getting eaten by a shark, but Wargaming, looking to have a March sales record higher than China's GDP, has put her up for sale for 26 days. Belfast needs no introduction, and is often known as the Unicum's tugboat, boasting strong HE, British AP, smoke, sonar, and radar, Belfast is the queen of gimmick. It is a tryhard's delight and offers plenty of ploys to assist in your cheek-clapping endeavors. Oh, and for those of you who have had Belfast for the last year and have been holding it over the rest of our heads, This Tier 6 premium British cruiser is one of the most famous ships in the world. Appearing in-game in her museum ship state after her 1959 modernization, Wargaming did not disappoint when choosing her ruses to put in the game, making her the only ship with radar and smoke at the same time. This gives you the unique ability to spam your enemies from the cover of smoke without being spotted, and solidifies Belfast as a powerhouse. Even without all of these bells and whistles, Belfast is a no baloney gunship armed with enough guns to make any American proud. Her 12 152mm main battery come equipped with both British SAP and HE shells. Unlike most other British cruisers, Belfast does not have torpedoes, but in most cases you will hardly miss them. Your quick 7 to 8 second reload makes up for your low alpha strike ability and makes you a dangerous adversary to be left alive. While you do have a range better than your tier 6 counterpart from across the pond, Atlanta, your shell velocity is similarly very slow. So check the wind distance, calculate the Coriolis effect, and let your enemies have it. Your fire chance leaves a little to be desired unless you clearly hate the world and everyone in it and purposely set Belfast up as a fire starter. Belfast's armor could be considered decent and her citadel location is lower than some of her contemporaries. That plus around 35,000 health makes this cruiser seem pretty well protected for a tier 6. Just avoid any incoming fire from red team battleship shells who, like any other light cruiser, will paddle you from any angle they hit you. Belfast's real armor lies in her ninja concealment, with or without the concealment mod. Without the mod, it's around 10 kilometers, and with the mod, around 9 kilometers. Use your ninja abilities to complete shifty plays, such as moving into caps, ambushing destroyers, and choosing when to leave an engagement. Getting focused by a red team lemming train? Simply stop shooting your guns, turn away, and do your best Udachi impersonation. With concealment mod and 9km detection, you can become a destroyer's worst nightmare, pounding their tiny heinies with rapid fire 152mm shells paddling them faster than they can say, Bismarck needs another buff. If you're a bold one, or prefer to live dangerously, set up a double rudder and enjoy a 4.5 second rudder shift. Change course in between volleys and adjust your speed as well. While Belfast isn't optimal at this with her mediocre speed, it is an option. Just be sure to not take any incoming battleship AP rounds or be prepared to party in port like it's 1939. Belfast, like other British light cruisers, comes equipped with a smokescreen, and also like other British cruisers, stops slower than a pandemic curve. So stop early before smoking, or be prepared to look like a low IQ wallet warrior in front of Red Team. Also consider that the size of the smokescreen Belfast lays is comparable to your neighbor Chad's vape pen cloud, and will offer a small area of protection. These things really make your smokescreen a defensive ability and not the best when aggressively pushing. 
HMS Belfast also has radar that reaches 8.5 kilometers and lasts for 25 seconds, allowing you to spot toxic destroyer captains who think it's cool to run double concealment build and stealth torpall game. And as if you didn't have enough tricks, don't forget the sonar, which is useful to make sure you don't get torpedoed when sitting in Chad's vape cloud. So in a nutshell, Belfast is the Swiss army knife of cruisers and the queen of guile. She has a ton of tools for most situations. Sonar for torpedoes, radar for destroyers, smoked for defense, good concealment or rudder shift depending on how you want to play, a lot of fast firing guns and decent range, British SAP and HE to boot. Simply avoid larger ships than you and bully the little ones. Since she is so versatile, setting up Belfast just depends on how you want to play the ship. Bruce Fraser can be set up to boost fire chance up to 13%. Or if you're a wallet warrior or a weeaboo, choose Azur Lane Belfast for a stealthy ship that is safe during close engagements while you're in smoke. Runner-ups include William Tennant to boost maneuverability and reduce damage, and finally Jellico if you simply do not have any other choices. Inspirations could also vary widely depending on your playstyle. You could use Norman Scott for improved accuracy, Yamamoto for AP penetration, or Philip Vian for reduced incoming damage. Personally, I bounce back and forth between Azerlane Belfast and Bruce Fraser. When I'm having a particularly bad day, I load up Fraser and his big fire chance in an attempt to make someone else have a bad day. Nothing brings a sparkle to my eye quite like a fire ribbon. On a bad day, my Belfast has Burn It Down XXL, Igniter, Light Fortress, Fixated, and Fully Packed for those extra consumables. My personal inspirations are Philip Vian and Genichi Makawa. For ship modules, I usually use Aiming Systems Mod 1, Steering Gears, and Concealment Mod to do my best destroyer impersonation. HMS Belfast absolutely lives up to her reputation in World of Warship Legends, and I know there will be a lot of half-masked captains when they finally get their sweaty hands on her. You might as well give in to temptation, reach for those credit cards, and put that government-printed stimulus money to good use. See you guys in the next one.